What is going on, guys? Winter Man Boxing. Devin Haney dominates Pro Riz all 12 rounds. I thought Haney was going to knock him out, man. I really did. You know, Haney going up in weight to 140, he looked way healthier in the weigh-in as opposed to him making weight at 135 where he looked all sucked up in his face. He looked way healthier. He looked way stronger at 140 pounds for sure. Now that we already know the outcome of Haney, Ryan Garcia had mentioned he wanted the winner of Haney versus Progress and calls out Haney. Let's make it happen. Does that fight make sense? Yes, it does. But I personally think there is a fight that makes more sense because Ryan Garcia should fight Roly Romero next, like he stated after his win against Duarte, Oscar Duarte. The fight that makes all the sense in the world for is Devin Haney versus Teofimo Lopez. Why I say that, these guys have been on it about fighting each other in the past. Both these guys are coming from tremendous victories at 140. Teo dominated Josh Taylor and Haney dominated Regis Progress. One thing I really like about Haney and Teal is that they are both willing to take the smoke. I mean, just look at what both these fighters have done in their career at an early age. Teofimo Lopez is 26 years of age, has held titles in two different weight classes. He is the WBO and Ring Magazine light welterweight champion and former WBO IBF WBA and Ring Magazine lightweight champion. He's accomplished all of this with only 20 pro fights, 19 and 1 with 13 knockouts. That's pretty impressive. And resume for that many fights? I mean, come on. And gotta throw this in there because there was a boxing channel, I think it's called The Boxing Voice, who mentioned Tofimo wanted Subriel Matias. As his next fight, I mean, Matias is a hard-hitting guy. He has a 100% KO ratio. I mean, the guy destroyed Ergashev, giving him his first loss. I mean, Teo is a throwback fighter for sure. He wants all the smoke. Now, looking at Devin Haney, he is 25 years of age. He is a former undisputed lightweight champion who relinquished his titles to go up and wait to 140 and in his first fight at 140, becomes a WBC world champion at junior welterweight. I mean, before the progress fight, this image came out and it was a comparison between Devin Haney and Floyd Mayweather at 25 years of age. As you can see, Haney, 30-0, Money May, 28-0, world titles, the dream, four, Money May won. World title fights, the Dream 9 with 1 KO and Money May 11 with 6 KOs. I mean, Money Mayweather was knocking out people at 25 years of age, as you can see here. Uh, Pay-per-view headlines, Haney 2, Mayweather 0. This is why I made a video 7 months ago stating that I don't understand why people don't give enough credit to Devin Haney. And what he's done in his career so far, the man is making moves, increasing his resume with good fight and opponents. So as to Fima Lopez, and this is why this fight makes all the sense in the world to be next. Both guys are determined. Both guys are looking to increase their legacy at such a young age. Both guys aren't afraid of challenges and looking for more achievements in their careers. What do you guys think? Who should David Haney fight next? Teofimo Lopez or Ryan Garcia? Or who should Teo fight next? Haney or Matias? Let me know your thoughts below. Don't forget to hit the like button. Consider subscribing. See you guys on the next one. Peace.